Tag Garrison Script. What's up, everybody? This is Gunter Soverlo. Today, I'm going to share with you a Garrison Script that I use in all of my missions. Let's go to the editor and to Virtual Reality. We're going to load up a mission that I use as a test scenario that has Virtual Arsenal in it, so I have access to weapons. And the first thing we're going to do is copy these two walls here and you'll see why once we get going and something built and then we're going to go to props and we're going to go to altus and then city and then we're going to go to unfinished building large and place that here and then we're going to go to military Eric's new. And we're going to place that right about here. Next, we're going to go to independent groups. We're going to go to FIA, infantry, assault squad. Put these guys in the middle. Make sure these guys are not clipping in the building. And that's fine. This garrison script basically all you need to do is take a squad of any kind whether it's two man five man or ten man what have you it could even be one guy if you want it doesn't matter the garrison you need a code in the group leaders init box this this box here and basically when you start the mission the script will execute and then based on the radius of the buildings that you define to be garrisoned, the script will automatically scan all the positions, available positions of the buildings that you have set up or are in, and then position each soldier, no matter how many you have, into a, any available position. So you won't know exactly where these guys are. Alright, so before we start that, let's take a look at the script itself. Okay, we are in the folder for the mission, and I have the TOG Garrison script inside it. Now, this is TOG Garrison. I'm not sure what TOG stands for. I think it's uh, an acronym for a clan or a unit or a squad or something that uh, Sushi, who created the script, was a part of or led or something. I'm not sure. Uh, Let's take a look at the top two lines. You have the usage, which is basic, and usage, which is advanced. Now, I normally just use the basic command line or the line that calls the script. If you go to advanced, then you can define the unit or units. For example, as he has set here, like say if you want one, an officer, the radius that they're going to be garrisoned, which would be 100. Uh, the max units, 5 units to garrison 5, max units per patrol, 4, and info, true. And then, of course, you got the name for the script itself. So, if you just use the basic code, and we scroll down a little bit, and you look under declarations right here, under radius, which is this right here, it says 100. So you can change this number to whatever you want, whether you want it bigger or smaller, that's up to you, but default it's 100. So that what that means is when you set up a squad within an area of buildings, the radius is 100 meters around that squad that is they're gonna occupy all the buildings within 100 meters. Let's say you wanted to occupy a town with one squad, then you could increase this to maybe 300. So you'd have to kind of determine how big the town is. So in our case, it's only two buildings and 100 is, is efficient. You know, I could just put 50, 50 would work, but 100 is pretty decent. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab this code, highlight it, Press Control C to copy it, and then we're going to go back in the game, paste it into the squad leader's INIT box. See there. So what we do now is you double-click the squad leader, 
and in his INIT box you just press control and then V and that will paste the code that will call the Tau Garrison script. Press OK and you're all set. So what we're going to do is we're just going to play this mission. I'm going to save it first and watch and see what happens to the squad. So they've been garrisoned already for the blink of an eye. We're going to go to spectator. So you can already see that uh, a lot of different positions have been occupied by these guys. guy here, a guy here. And a guy here. So the script basically, as soon as the mission starts, as you saw, disperses the AI into every available position that it scans for. So the 100 meter radius that is set up in the script as a default scans all the buildings within 100 meter, 100 meters, and then it's scanning for positions that are available to put the AI there. So once the mission starts, then the AI get randomly dispersed amongst all those positions. Now, if you have more AI, then there's a good chance that a lot of the positions might be occupied twice. So you might have, you know, in one room, like you have one guy here, you might have two guys. So it, it depends on the number of units that you have. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'll build a little mission out of this and then run a playthrough and see where these guys end up in Kilmore and end the mission. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these guys enemy to us. We're gonna go to attributes, general, and independent allegiance currently is friendly. We're gonna make them enemy, hit okay. Then we're gonna go to triggers and we're gonna get a 100 meter trigger and put it in the center. And we're gonna kind of resize it a little bit so that it surrounds the buildings here. Actually gonna make it square. Square is more defining. And then we're gonna name this trigger C1. And the activation, we're gonna put a hint, hint, quotes, the FIA squad has been eliminated semicolon and then we're gonna put c1 units dead space equals true and then semicolon and what that does that just basically checks the trigger to see if all the units in that trigger are still alive and that's it for that next we're gonna place down another trigger and this trigger is going to end the mission. I'm going to double click and we're going to put in the condition C1 units dead. Actually I spelled that right. Yep. Then on activation we're going to put left bracket, right bracket, space, call, bis, underscore, FNC, underscore, end mission and then semicolon and we're going to hit ok that's it for the trigger then we're going to go to f5 systems we're going to create a task and then we're going to set a task state and we're going to sync these two together and then sync the set task state to the trigger in the center and then we're gonna set the task date to succeeded. Hit okay. Go to 
Create task and I set the all playable units so that the player sees it. And for the title, kill the occupying FIA squad. Then when give it a description, the FIA squad has occupied a couple of buildings. Locate and eliminate them. Then in task type, we're going to go to attack. And that's basically it for that. All right, that's it for the mission. And we're going to save that. We're going to play this mission and check it out. All right, so I'm sure the AI has been garrisoned. And right now we're going to pick our loadout. Here we are. All right, so let's get started. One guy down. Two guys down. He should have stayed. Okay, nobody else so far. Sometimes you want to like just give it a few seconds and he'll change his position. Change the direction he's facing. Anybody else? I don't see anybody else yet. We'll take a chance and move. Okay, so far so good. Check this here. Balcony. Looks like. No, I don't see no one. Alright, so we're gonna enter this and clear it, and we gotta keep our awareness to the other building. Hallway is clear. Close our flanks. First room. Alright, it's clear. like this because we're in direct view of the other side so if there's enemy up there then they see if they see you they'll obviously kill you so you always want to look beyond the room itself clear so far clear Guys might all be upstairs. Don't see anybody. Clear. Alright, so it looks like wherever the enemy's at, they're all upstairs. So this will be interesting. So let's take a look at our task that we created. So we have a task kill the occupying FIA. Kill the occupying FIA squad. The FIA squad has occupied a couple of buildings. Locate and eliminate them. Alright. Yeah, okay, it's clear. There's a guy right there. Machine gunner. It's one down. Always clear there. Yeah, it looks 
like the building across the way is clear. We'll find out once we get the in here. I'm sure there's more in here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, guys. Hope you like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip this mission and upload it to my Google Drive. I will link it in the description of the video and uh, that's it. You guys can download it, install the mission, check it out, set up the garrison script and uh, you know implement it into your own missions. Alright guys, I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.